Hey mates, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is the place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So hello, Power Mates. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a game changer for all of you working in the Microsoft Fabric. Uh, imagine uh, sharing your data externally with partners, vendors, or even customers, you know, securely, seamlessly, and with full control. So guess what? Microsoft just dropped a huge enhancement for the external data sharing. So, and it's going to change the way you collaborate on some point. So stay tuned because on the next few minutes, we will show you how to set this up live, share data externally like a pro. So, and I love the new possibilities uh, from uh, for your business. So let's dive in. And Gaston, uh, tell me, uh, what is external data sharing uh, in Monk Safari? What is effectively that? Yeah, of course, Alex. Let's start with some foundational or 101 about data sharing. Before all of this, sharing data externally uh, was painful, exporting files, messy permissions, governance nightmares. So now with Fabric, let let you share data with external organizations directly from one lake in a governed, secure, and effortless way. So new enhancements include role-level security control what each user can see, cross-tenant sharing, no more account headaches, fabric simplifies the whole collaboration uh, ecosystem, live data access, external users get real-time insights without duplications, and, you know, revocable access need to cut someone off one click and access is gone. So the best part is really super easy to set this up. So let's head over to my machine and see this in action. First of all, in my machine, you can see all our workloads across the Microsoft Fabric ecosystem. Then what you need to be careful is setting up the right permissions at the admin level. Remember that to access the admin portal, you go to the top in settings back there. And then within that, you go to the admin portal right there. Once you open the admin portal, I'm I can check one by one, but I can go in my admin portal and check for the export and sharing settings. So one of the things that you need to enable is this one, that is the external data sharing. As usual, you can enable this option for the whole organization, or you can specify your security group that can uh, share a read-only link to the data that you have stored in one link and collaborates with others across your organization or external organizations. So in our uh, landscape, I already enabled my option here. So then I need to go to my one lake catalog. Again, left of my screen, one lake catalog. I can search for data types. In my case, I'm gonna click in event house, KQL database, lake house. I can click on my warehouse and, you know, just picking up one of the items. I can click on any of my items. In this case, I'm sharing this with a lake house. And in the lake house, I have this option back here. That is external data share. When we click on the external data share, I can click on many of our tables or just one. I can click on you know, sales, I can click on license or any other files, and then I can save and continue. Then I need to add my external user account. This is the email of my external user. Let's do a test data share as an option. I can share this via Microsoft Teams or copy the link or via email. So I can, in this case, I'm going to click on copy link, copy this link for me. And then remember that because I am sharing this externally uh, and I can send this via Teams message or email to this person. So then I need to go to my external and this is 
the other side of things. You know, this is the admin portal in the external user, as you can check in the top of my screen, I am leveraging my other account. This is the external user. And in the admin portal, remember that that person that's going to be getting the link to access external uh, data shared with them, you can check that this option, users can accept external data shares, should be enabled because if you don't enable this option, you cannot click in the link that someone shared with you. Once I paste in the top URL, the link that the person shared with me, you're gonna see that someone is sharing, in this case, the table of sales, uh, checking that this is uh, one table, what was the tenant name, what was the intra domain name, what was the tenant ID, and I'm gonna be able to accept and review the contents. Once I review the content, I'm gonna say, hey, I would love to land this table in any of my lake house that I already have in my tenant. So I'm going to click in this option here. I'm going to land this as a new table. I'm going to apply. And then when I apply is connecting with my external sharing and I'm going to see the sales table. In this case, you can check that my new sales table is landing here in the lake of. So once I click on that, uh, remember I am not moving the data, I just reference the data. That's why you see this icon that is kind of a shortcut icon. So I am clicking in this sales table and I'm going to be able to access the data that someone shared with me externally. So this is really great in terms of, you know, not only to share data, it's to set permissions because this is read only, apply role level security across my data. The recipient get, gets an email and access the data live. So no exports, no duplications, just poor efficiency. So uh, bonus track on this one, show how an external user connects, you know, and, and that's, that's the real magic over here that you are not uh, duplicating data. So. Boom is data that you shared secure and ready for collaboration. So what are your thoughts, Alex, around this? Do you see any use cases for different industries for using or leveraging these in real life? Yeah, so no, absolutely. And I'm thinking out loud right now, it's like financial services, for example, share market inside with partners securely. Uh, retails or supply chain, you know, they collaborate on an inventory levels with vendors in real times, healthcare or research, you know, share non-sensitive patient data uh, with researchers and, and also startups and, and enterprises that can secure data partnership uh, without messy, you know, data export. So that means that Microsoft Fabric is already finding, you know, data collaboration. So uh, that that's awesome, that's awesome. So let's make this video go viral. And did you find this uh, useful? Let us know in the, in the comment. And as usual, don't forget uh, to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock as usual, the full potential of our platform and Microsoft Public. See you there.